New Hampshire may be small, but where it lacks in size, it makes up for in natural beauty and unique attractions. We start our High Point journey in the largest city in New Hampshire, Manchester. We head 20 minutes outside of town to the Robert Frost Farm to see where one of the greatest poets in U.S. history got his inspiration. We're starting off our New Hampshire High Point adventures with a visit to the Robert Frost Farm just outside of Manchester. Robert Frost was one of the great nature poets of America and he's a winner of four Pulitzer Prizes. So we're hoping to get some inspiration. Greg, are you feeling inspirational? Actually, I am. A haiku by Greg, if you will. Mountain waterfalls, cascading mighty current, great electric source. Oh man, that's deep. Did you feel that? I felt that. The nature is just buzzing. Good morning, yeah, how are you? I'm Brandon. Brandon, I'm Justine. Yeah. Nice Greg, to meet Greg, you. Nice to meet Man, you. What a place you got here. Thank you, it's wonderful. This is where the Robert Frost family lived from 1900 to 1911, the longest place he ever lived in one place. When I'm always interested in going to museums, I like I like to see the stuff that like Robert Frost touched, sat on. Like, what did Robert Frost do? Let's go in the house. This looks interesting. Well, you asked where he sat? Yes. <laughs> we can tell you, he sat there. And if you'd like to try it out, it's a love seat. There's room for two. Oh, okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when he came here, he was unknown. When he was here, he was the Robert Frost that no one knew. He wasn't published when he was here. He was just a poultry farmer. And did he kind of have a love-hate relationship with the actual job of farming? His epitaph on his gravestone was, I had a lover's quarrel with the world. So he had a love-hate relationship with almost everything. Actually, in Derry, New Hampshire, Robert Frost is known as that poet that used to be a lazy farmer. So was he not a good farmer? He was never lazy, he was never a farmer. He always had a farm in the backyard but he never actually went out with the shovel and everything. He, had his he kids was do just it. no. <laughs> it almost seems romantic. It's like, oh, you're farming and then you come inside and you're writing poetry. The scenery here sitting next to yeah. the window, this it generates inspiration. And Justine Brandon doesn't like to talk about this a lot, but he is a poet himself. Greg, you're not supposed to say this. In, so in why public. don't you give her a little bit. Well, thank you, brother, for uh, putting me on the spot. <laughs> I, I can't wait, Brandon. I want to hear this. Okay, so uh, this, this is a haiku by Brandon. Brandon like big words. Frost like even bigger words. Brandon, big biceps. <laughs> A haiku by Brandon. <laughs> very nice, very nice. <laughs> okay, well, we can go. <laughs> Well, thank you guys for coming in. This was such an adventure for me. Well, we appreciate it. Thanks for putting up with us. Oh, no. You know, I love this job. It's the best job in the world, but the best part of it is the people that I meet. And it's a great way to start off, I think, our High Point adventure. Good inspiration. Excellent. Thanks for coming in, Brandon. All right. Greg, it. enjoy safe travels. <laughs> <laughs>